Greetings hobbyists, this is Artans of Vool, and in this video we're going to make a nut and screw. So this covers a couple of messages that I've received related to recent videos. One of them from when we looked at the rifling of a barrel, asked if this was the same technique that I'd use to make something like a screw. And then from the video when I was looking at why I don't use plasticity, a suggestion was made to be inspired by some of Pixel Fondue's videos where he uses plasticity to make a range of basic-ish shapes and someone was asking if I could do the same. So this seems to cover a similar thing and this idea of doing some basic in inverted commas shape seems quite a good one and this might be a nice thing to do as it shows off some of the things you can do with Blender and how you combine some of the tools together. So we're going to start this by making the head of the screw and that's a relatively simple thing to do. We're just going to shift an A and we're going to bring in a cylinder and then I'm going to need to down that to I think it's eight for screws so we'll go with that and then I'm going to change the depth to let's say one that looks probably about right might be a little thick let's go 0 0.75 if you don't see this then just click that little box on the bottom left hand corner now the big thing that we're going to need to deal with is the sort of curving nature that you get on the edge of some of these screws which I think is there to help you put a wrench over it and it just sort of slip into place and for that we're going to use a boolean and we're going to use ball tools if you don't have ball tools just go to edit preferences type in ball and then activate ball tools and it gives you some shortcuts that you can use with a number pad you can do this normally but I just find it quicker and we're going to shift an A and I'm actually going to use a UV sphere not any of the other types of spheres and let's up this so it's got a bit of a better resolution I'm going to put this up to 64 and 64 then we're going to want to curve this out a bit so let's S and Z to shrink it down maybe somewhere around there and then S and shift and Z to bring it out to about there looks about right now what I'm actually going to do at this point bearing in mind something I need to do later is shift and D that and then just H to hide it so we've got a copy there which is sphere 001 and then for this one I'm going to go to vertex mode shift and Z to be going to x-ray mode grab those and then G and Z those down so that we're covering most of the screw then I'm going to select one of the objects shift select the other and then control and use the asterisk button to do an intersection boolean so we're only keeping where the objects intersect that's H to hide that and you can see we've got this nice rounded shape around the corners very much like a screw should look so let's come to our modifiers and apply that so we've got that good to go and then we're going to deal with our screw and this is the bit where someone was suggesting well maybe we'd use the same technique that we did for our rifling and I wouldn't you definitely can but the old adage there's no point in having a dog and barking too comes up and if you've got machine tools this will do this much more nicely for you for making a screw so let's shift an A mesh and bring in a cylinder let's up that to I don't know 128 and then S to scale that in and then SZ to scale that up a bit and then probably a bit more so let's say somewhere there and bring that down so we've got our screw and we need to add the thread to it now like our picture and this depends on what sort of screw you want but I think this looks a little bit more interesting we only want this thread going part way up so to do that I need to go into edge mode control and R put in an edge loop and I'm going to bring that up to wherever I want my thread to go to let's go for about there then I'm going to go into face mode shift and Z and select all of the bottom faces and this is where this is going to get surprisingly simple if you right click if you've got machine tools I should say Machine Tools is a free add-on by Machine. There's a link for it on Gumroad, though obviously I would really suggest that you do give some money to the creator of this. It's a fantastic tool set, and if you've watched the channel before, you know I use it a lot. Let's go to Machine Tools, and then what we're going to do is make sure that we've got this thread turned on. So you need to have that, and then if you don't have Auto Save Preferences on, make sure you save your preferences. At that point, with our faces selected, note I haven't selected the bottom one, you just right click machine tools and click add thread and we've got our thread added and we've got all our settings on the side here again so we're gonna up our threads I want a little bit more of a turn than this so let's go to somewhere about there and then we can fiddle around with all of our settings so I just want this to be a little bit wider somewhere about there looks about right you have got other things that you can deal with so you can change how extreme this is on the end which is probably one of my favorite settings because it really does make things look 
quite nice to be able to make that more or less extreme. I'm going to go to somewhere around there and you can fiddle around with all of these settings like how far up or down it is. Using those you can fiddle around with how wide the, I don't know what you'd call that, but the center point of the screw is and you can fiddle around with if it takes up the whole space or not. So really cool to be able to play with and then we've got that ready to go. And I think you'll agree that is unbelievably simple and makes a really, really nice thread. What I should also note about this, which is really cool from a 3D printing point of view, is that this gradual lead in here actually makes this very, very nice to 3D print. Now, what you might want to do for this is just bring this vertex up. So G and Z there. Use K to run a knife tool to do that to, let's say there hit enter and then go to edge mode and control and X that edge. And that means that we can alt select that edge and then remembering that we need to apply the scale. So control and A scale going to edge and then alt select that edge control and B. We can just add in a slight bevel there just to chamfer just to make it have a little bit of a nicer edge to it. You can if you want to select that whole face G and Z that down and then add in a larger one if you wanted to as well. That's entirely up to you. So there we go. We've got that there. Now the nuts going to be relatively simple. Now that we've got that, we want to make it match this screw. So let's come into side view, shift a mesh, and then I'm going to bring in another cylinder. Once again, bring that down to eight. And I think I want this a little bit wider. Let's go to about one. And then what I'm going to do is select that and then make our sphere reappear, select that as well, and then isolate that. So this is the sphere that we copied earlier. And then I'm just going to S and make that a little bit bigger to about there. Same trick, control and asterisk, H to hide it, and we've got our nut. Let's select that, apply all, and then we're just gonna G and Z that down to somewhere that's appropriate. Shift and D to duplicate this. Let's isolate these just to make it simpler to see. So we've got our duplicate here and nut there. So select that, shift select that, control and minus to use ball tools, H to hide it, and we've got our screw. Let's apply that, and then we can just drag that off to the side, and then for each of these, we can just rotate them around so we can see them and they look a little bit nicer, or we probably should control plus to join that together, and then apply all, and then we can just R, and R and put these next to each other so they look quite nice. There we go, let's do something like that. So there we have our screw and nut made entirely with Native Blender and a free add-on. Have a great day, guys.